guess what we're doing today? So I don't know about you guys, but up here in Michigan, we are experiencing some crazy warm weather. No joke, it was like 90 degrees the other day, I believe it's 87 right now, and the weather is not supposed to break up here for at least another two days. So today, we are making frozen strawberry watermelon dog treats. That's right. We're gonna make some frozen dog treats to help cool these puppies down. Let's do it. Before we get too far into this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new, click that bell to turn on all notifications, and if you're looking for more of our treat videos, there will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below. Let's get to making some of these treats because holy cow, it's hot in here. I have to turn the AC off for this, so we're gonna do this fast. The first thing you're gonna need is a seedless watermelon. The nice thing about this treat is you don't need the whole watermelon, so you'll have stuff for you and the dogs. And actually, realistically, if you want to eat these frozen treats, you actually can. Look, I have this much watermelon for Jamie and I. <laughs> now, some of you may notice I said seedless watermelon. This watermelon still does have a little bit of seeds in it. Basically, all you have to do is, like, cut around them. Really? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a spoon, and we're going to spoon out some of this watermelon, and we're going to put it into one of these cups. I'm actually going to keep this as a bowl to use for a photo of the treats, but you don't actually have to do that. Let's see what they think of watermelon just as is. Well, Memphis likes it. What do you think? Shelby's like, mm, maybe. How about you? <gasps> Only spit out the watermelon. Wait a minute, didn't you guys do this with strawberries last time too? Well, that part's good, right? It's better once we mix it all together, right, Shelby? Yeah, Shelby says it's better once we mix it all together. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna take a spoon and I'm going to scoop out little chunks of watermelon and I need about a cup. And Memphis is like, I'm gonna help. I'm totally gonna help. I am making this a recipe for three dogs. You can always make less if you want to. So there's my cup of watermelon. I also poured a little bit of the juice down in there as well. And as you can see, I kind of cut around the seeds so I didn't have to worry about them. Next step, let's see what Shelby thinks of watermelon with a little bit of cream cheese on it since that's her favorite dip ever. How about watermelon with cream cheese? Shelby just needs her dip. It's all she needs. So the next thing you're gonna need is about a cup of chopped up strawberries. I went ahead and chopped these up ahead of time, washed them and chopped them up. You wanna try one? Oh, you ate that one. How about you, Memphis? You ate one. How about you, Shelby? She ate it. She ate it without dip. You ate the strawberry? She ate the strawberry without dip. Last time, or was it bananas? You guys will have to remind me. So anyway, how about a cup of strawberries? I'm gonna set that aside. Set the watermelon aside. Then we're gonna need one container of plain Greek yogurt. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to mix these three things together. I do have one more thing I wanna add, but I don't wanna overfill my blender. So we're gonna take the watermelon, the strawberries, and the yogurt. Put the yogurt in here. You like this, don't ya? Oh yeah, I thought so. You're like, I love that. How about you? Oh, I thought so. How about you? I think they like yogurt. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've overfilled it too much, so I am gonna add the last ingredient now instead of waiting. I was gonna mix it, then add it. We'll just mix it now. So the last thing you're going to need is one cup of unsweetened coconut milk. If you don't have coconut milk, you can use water. You probably don't really want to use regular milk because we already have some yogurt in there and too much dairy can upset some dogs' stomachs. As always, you guys, this is a treat. This is not meant to be a meal replacement. This is just something that they get to have once in a while. If your dog is sensitive to certain foods, you know, just switch things out or try different things. My dogs have all had this stuff before and they all do very good with it. Pour that in. All right, we're gonna put this lid on and we're gonna mix it with our Nutribullet. All right, we're ready to make some noise. What do you girls think? Does it smell good? Ooh, that smells very strawberry. And now I'm gonna take these super cute strawberry molds that I found. These are silicone strawberry molds. Molds. I will put an Amazon affiliate link for these down in the video description below. And we are going to fill these about 
two thirds of the way with this and then we're gonna stick them in the freezer. Before I do that, I'm actually gonna pour this in here to make it easier to pour. We'll probably have more than the amount of molds I have, so if you end up with extra and you don't have enough trays to freeze them, you can just take this and stick it in the fridge, and then when your trays are empty, add more to the freezer. Here we go! Some of you may have noticed that this is very similar to the popular watermelon treat that we have done. And it is, it's very similar, but it's more strawberry than watermelony, and this one has yogurt in it, so it's more like a strawberry smoothie type of frozen treat. But if you guys have never seen the watermelon video, I will also put that up in the cards above. And again, if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that bell to turn on all notifications so you'll always know when we put up new treat videos every other Monday. That's when we try to put them up. And today was just so hot we had to do something frozen. Speaking of hot, I'm gonna put this in the freezer now because I need to turn the AC back on. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Check it out, we've done it. Look at little frozen strawberries. Oh my goodness. Do they look amazing? Shelby, do you wanna try one? We should probably take them outside so you can try them outside, huh? Yeah? Yeah, okay, well, we gotta do it outside because they're ice and they'll get super sticky in here. Yeah, they'll get super sticky in here. So one at a time, let's go outside and try some frozen treats. All right, time to try a treat. You're already sat, what can I get you to do? Jump! <laughs> okay, sit. Can you speak? Speak. That was a stomp. Try speak. Good job. Okay, sit. Ready? Ready? It's gonna be delicious. Oh my, I'm gonna hold it for a second so you realize what it is instead of swallowing it. Ooh, is it good stuff? All right, ready? I'm gonna let go. Oh yeah, good girl. You crunched that right up. And it's gone. What'd you think? Was it good? Did you even taste it? I did hear you chew it, which is a good thing. We convinced you to chew it. That was it, you ate it. There's more inside, I'll get you another one in later. <laughs> All right, it's Miss Shelby's turn. Shelby, can you speak? <coughs> Good girl, can you turn around? <coughs> Good job, sit. You want it? Do you want this? Can you speak? No, speak. <coughs> Good job, you got it? I'm gonna do the same thing with you. There you go, you realize that it's a frozen thing? Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> she's like, wait, it's frozen. Chew it up. Good stuff, huh? Yeah, see, I knew you would eat it once it was all together. She's like, I like treats when they're completed more than when they're separate pieces. <laughs> eat that last bite so Oakley can have hers. Now it's Miss Oakley's turn. I know you can jump. Can you sit? Let's see if we can get you to sit. I know you can jump. Sit, you, you're almost there. Sit. You can do it, you can do it, you did it! Ready? I didn't say jump, here you go. Again, I'm gonna give it to you nice too. You got it? You realize it's a frozen treat? Oakley's decided to eat hers on the grass. But you didn't eat it. You didn't, oh okay. Are you just checking? You didn't, you didn't eat it. Oh okay. She's like, maybe I don't want it on the grass. Okay, let's move it to the cement. Oh, that was the problem? You, just did, <laughs> you don't want to get grass in it? Okay. I was going to say, I know you like treats like this. Good stuff? Oakley says, this is a win. <laughs> They're all looking for more pieces. All right, you guys, that is all we have for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this treat video. Let us know down in the comments below if this is something you are going to try to make for your dogs. Again, we were supposed to have another super hot day here today, so I think this was the perfect treat for the dogs. As always, you guys, if you want to see more of our treat videos, there will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below where you can check all those out. If you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, you guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again on Wednesday. Goodbye, audience!